This video is for people to build a cafe. It's about an explanation of what are different concepts are there in developing a cafe or a coffee shop. This does not mean that these are the only concepts in the world, but uh, these are few of the concepts that I would love to discuss about and tell you about. So here we go. Concept number one, educative concept. Uh, now, you'll see a lot of cafes uh, which have got an educative concept towards it who are thriving and wanting to educate the customer or the guests in a more, uh, I would say, not just scientific but more in-depth manner. So, you'll see right from the menus or you'll see right from the interiors or right from the stuff, the way they are discussing and explaining you the beverages and the coffee. Uh, that's kind of more educative format. So you can build your brand around an educative format. Few pros of this one is that it keeps your guest very engaged if you have the right information. Second, it also helps you build a community. That's something which is very important. Cons is it's a slow paced process. It also takes a lot of efforts. Most of them are intangible, which probably will not be appreciated by a lot of people. Your sales number would not be as high probably uh, as you would want to initially. Then you can build your cafe around a slow bar. So slow bars are something that I personally love a lot. Slow bars would be uh, basically you've got a beautiful manual bar equipment. You've got a manual bar as a front show. A very good idea also is to invest in different kinds of uh, modules uh, of the slow bar setup, which will help you uh, have the same temperature. So better kettles, better equipment, um, better uh, dispensing speed. Nowadays, you also have got these equipments, which basically... Uh, uh, you know, like it's almost like a flow jet sort of a thing, which is maintaining your temperature and you just have to hold it and you just have to press the button and it will start. You can start pouring water on top of the coffee bed of a pour over. Uh, those setups are also available. So slow bar concept is more towards that, that your coffee is going to take like four to five minutes to brew. Uh, that's what a slow bar concept is and very tricky at times, but really mesmerizing and very involving. Pros of a slow bar concept is attractive, superiority in taste, time to get indulged in with the guest if your setup is right and if your rush is managed properly. Cons, I think high investment, high time in training the brewers because that takes a lot of time and uh, the service is slow over there. That happens, that does happen. So these three pointers are the cons. Now, if you want to open up a quick service restaurant, quick service cafe rather, that's the boom in country right now. You have a average or mediocre or I don't want to say mediocre, but a decentish espresso machine. Put up a good grinder, uh, have a 10 by 12, 10 by 14 space, pump out beverages right from that window. Uh, that setup is something which is faster. It will take you faster uh, to different cities also to expand also to uh, work it out it's much easier because the expectations of the guests are much lower uh, they don't expect you to educate them they don't expect you to be hardcore speciality uh, and uh, yeah that's that's the way uh, a lot of brands are going so qsr it is called a satellite or a qsr uh, there's a need of the hour drive in drive throughs uh, you got your airport you got uh, small uh, business areas where you can uh, small area in a business center all these places are where you can start expanding and then have multiple outlets span India. So you got to move fast for sure in QSR. There's no point in moving slow in that. That's, I would say, a con. Pros, lesser overheads, lesser headaches, uh, lesser expectations, lesser uh, cost. Margins are pretty much decent in that. That's what I think what QSR would be. <clears throat> then there's another way of taking coffee, bringing coffee into your brand. Uh, that's basically a supportive... Uh, Supportive cast, I would say. So let's say you are an existing brand who's doing good food in some, it could be any cuisine, any any sort of cuisine. And then you realize, hey, you know what? Our patrons are also asking for some good coffee. So that is where you can bring in a coffee machine, a small setup of a menu. Do not go too much in depth in the manual bars or the aeropress. I mean, the aeropress is the manual bar, but then don't go too much in deep of manual bars or like crazy beverages or something like that. Keep your operations really... Uh, low minimum and just have it as an offering 
and see how the response is if people are liking it then expand the menu gradually you always have an option so i'm speaking to a lot of people who are basically uh, who basically run a south indian shop and who want to uh, get into coffee not just the filter coffee but want to do like cappuccinos and lattes and all my suggestion to them has always been like just keep a small machine small espresso grinder and uh, by that basically we'll start building up the menu in f- instead of like really uh, having a fancy menu or fancy machines and all let's start small and then let's start growing consistently then there's another way that is collaborative now let's say if i am a uh, say sock making company um, and i i, I want to have a good coffee shop in my unit or however it is uh, i'll just pick up a call and call up a roaster and say hey you know what can you set up a coffee shop over there we can understand we can have an understanding of our uh, deliverables and finances and uh, all those things that is a better way at times rather than you running your own coffee shop uh, because everybody thinks running a coffee shop is so fancy it's so beautiful i love it to be honest i love it but uh, you got to bite the bullet at times and understand there are a lot of bitter stuff that goes around and it may deviate you from your existing business so uh, yeah that's something so collaborative is something that you should go for in case if you want to have a coffee shop in your existing business then there is a concept of experiential coffee shop where you are building your entire place in such a way that you want to give an experience of the entire value chain of coffee like right from where it is grown to how it is processed to how it is roasted educative information uh books you've got in your cafe which are more towards a coffee centric thing your beverages have got a reason behind it you've got more information on the Uh, with every order that goes about what the beverage is about so yeah all these things are there so this is one way of building a cafe if you want to and i love that game i love that game then there is office coffee a uh, lot of jokes back in 1990s about the office coffees uh but i think it's i don't know if i want to say changing uh improving certainly in many ways so look when you go to the office coffee section you don't want to go for the espresso bar you don't want to do that uh you probably just want to have a automated machine uh have somebody who you can trust and uh, uh lease out those machines to you and uh, help you build a simple basic coffee program that hey you know what i want to click a button and i want the coffee i don't want to get into the science of it that way so you can always have that approach also i wouldn't say that's a really exciting challenging or interesting one but uh, that is a uh, that is a more realistic way because not everybody is going to be really uh, too much into coffee man so you got to be understand you got to understand that sometimes you just have to give good coffee or you just have to give coffee that's it then there's this concept which is another very favorite of mine that is a roastery and a coffee shop now i can go on and on and on and on about this but i am out of that game personally so to be a good coffee shop not necessarily you always need to or have to have a roastery at your place all right i know a lot of coffee shops who are doing tremendous by buying coffee from trusted roasters and working with them uh you don't need a roaster to amplify as to what you're doing you can stick to your base you can stick to your coffee business and keep running that you'll always be intrigued and uh, wanting to go into that direction of hey you know what i'll start roasting now and all there are a lot of cons in that i am not wanting to discourage you at all but i want to give you a real reality check and a realistic picture so if i i'll give you a better example if i want to start a brewery uh, or if i want to start serving alcohol at my place i won't start a brewery all of a sudden i'll probably just get beers from other places and start serving them or on taps or on cakes sort of a thing i won't have an entire unit built up because that is a lot of science my dear friends there is a lot of work there is a lot of understanding of what is happening inside and out similarly the same goes with the roasting also roasting is not just about putting the green beans and getting them dark and getting it out so please acknowledge and understand that fact you want to push your limits definitely i am always game for that uh, but just to reiterate a coffee shop without a roastery does not means does not mean that it is missing out on something all right so coffee shop with roastery 
good idea great idea but take it easy take it slow be realistic about that as well now let's say you've got a, a brewery or you've got a whiskey house or you've got a whiskey bar or whatever all those things are don't forget to first of all invite me over there i love drinking beer and whiskey uh but second is that if you want to introduce coffee in it uh like a coffee liqueur or all those aspects uh don't expect that now don't expect now that that will be a massive big concept and it will take your sales of out of the roof and all uh be realistic some people would be excited some people most of the people won't be because your patrons have already been stuck with your beer and whiskies for a long time now so once in a while probably they will go for a coffee liqueur but don't be too heavily depending dependent on your marketing strategy as to your coffee will boost up your liquor sales keep it as an add on thing keep it as a part of a menu uh, but don't rely heavily on that all right so i'm just popping up that bubble right now so you are a bakery you've got a nice bakery program going you are professional you've got you're known pan india or globally as well and hey you know what you thought about why don't i serve coffee also i mean i don't need to tell you this i'm sure you must be knowing this but i'm just helping you out a little bit over here that uh, you can have a small simple decent espresso machine you don't need to have a big massive fancy uh, stuff going around rather have a small nice espresso machine get trained properly and put in the same amount of effort that you put in your bakery and your coffee will also increase so coffee and bakery is like a really good combination a uh, lot of bake houses are now getting into coffee also but they'll always be known as a bake bake house because they're doing tremendous and amazing stuff uh, and then they'll also be known as hey you know what they've got good coffee also so that is one of the approaches that you want to have if you want to have an extensive elaborative space that you all of a sudden want to have a 80% sale of coffee and then 20% sale of bake house that transition has to be a smooth one uh, and a disciplined one the way you had a discipline while you were baking your products so that's what my take on that is so there are several coffee concepts that you can work out your cafe on you can have uh, more than what i have mentioned over here if you have any more concepts that you think should be mentioned please put down in the comment section below and uh, any questions regarding all the topics that we have spoken about please hit the uh, hit in the comment section and do share this entire video please share the link of the youtube channel with your friends if you want to and hit like share and subscribe thank you so much cheers i know this part of video you're not going to watch so cheers